Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the German show car cola as it is here in front of the camera. That is a German special chocolate. As I was in uh, Switzerland all those years, I had completely missed that German classic chocolate. I was mainly concentrated on the on the Swiss chocolate that we had and uh, there was so uh, uh, a big variety of of a uh, great chocolate that is a uh, absolute tasty that I never did uh, brother too much with with other uh, countries chocolates uh, only only a few I got got uh, on my uh, travels to Austria Germany and other places but uh, maybe it was also a lack of time to study a bit more about history and all that so completely missed that one and I just got these examples of that Chocacola and want to talk a bit uh, more about it uh, basically that would be the German version of the Swiss military chocolate as I was in the in the Swiss military by the police uh, we had that really dark chocolate back then uh, that's that's already gone as I talk about it uh, what I hear from uh, Switzerland uh, back then it was a, a square really dark chocolate that was a uh, full of of a uh, stuff that that keeps you going that was like energy chocolate and also it did uh, help you in case you did eat something wrong and your uh, stomach it was upset and uh, together with that we had some uh, special uh, biscuits as well uh, that if you put them into a milk or into a water they would swell up really big and so completely full of the fluid that that uh, shows how how dry those uh, biscuit were and uh, if you eat those you always made, needed to make sure you had some fluid with you to drink because that would uh, block you up pretty pretty bad so in Germany that was a, a different story in the 30s they had the idea to make a powerful chocolate that Schokakola and uh, up in Berlin and uh, that's why the, the P38 version is uh, here on the table that is about in a similar in the similar years designed and uh, developed back then so that's the, the only the only two things that I have that would uh, come together in, uh, in the time frame and uh, both of them are newer versions of course I don't have really really uh, old firearms and uh, chocolate anymore so back then they had the idea about that chocolate that gives you strength and it, of course it was a uh, black a dark uh, chocolate the, the, the richest chocolate is always on the dark side there is more stuff in it than in the, the milky creamy version and as we see here uh, those bars as I got it are unfortunately not the round box they designed a round box like we see the shape here with that print and that that uh, wing here uh, unfortunately I just got the bars and not the, the metal box it is a uh, maybe next year I get that the metal box was similar to a, to a Alto Eats can just a round version and inside there you had two pieces back then it was split in half so it's like a cake that is split in half you have an upper half and a lower half that had some segments already put in that you can easily break it into pieces to eat it and uh, much like the current chocolate still have it so you can easier break it and eat it so uh, that was designed in the 30s in Berlin and was 
präsente das Beste sei sie zu äh, den Olympic Games back then in äh, Berlin. Those äh, Games are still well remembered from uh, that long time ago. Uh, and uh, from that on, that did stay on with the, the German uh, culture, how it looks, and uh, was also used in many branches of the military service. And uh, as best as I see uh, still today, maybe some uh, military people that are with the uh, with, uh, Bundesrepublik Deutschland uh, military can uh, give a bit of feedback if that is still given out officially there or not. And uh, back then, during the, the 30s, 40s, that was mainly used with the military branches of the U-boat, the Unterseeboot, but also as with the pilots. They called it also a Flieger Schokolade. That means uh, for the flight, for the pilot back then and uh, also as it's famous as the Panzer Schokolade, as chocolate for tanks. I guess uh, there is not too many people on the planet that really don't like uh, chocolate, especially a uh, rich one that they uh, give you uh, energy and keep you awake, like uh, like a strong uh, coffee. So that was pretty famous and uh, because it gets into that metal tin it was also a bit uh, more protected from melting or from get damaged instead of a uh, of a plastic, a simple plastic like we have here, which we're gonna look in a minute at it. And uh, those metal tins that they did are collectibles. Uh, it's it's uh, of course like the Alto Eats can, uh, many different variants with uh, prints on it, and and uh, many many people did uh, use those tins then later for something else. So you got the chocolate and the tin. And uh, you you see that also a bit on German eBay or other other marketplaces that the uh, historic uh, tins are already collectible. Chocolate may be gone for sure, but uh, the the tin uh, is still around. So the strength of that that uh, chocolate, as we see on the on the red original version, the the zart bitter, that means a uh, black one. Uh, die Energie Schokolade, Schaftkraft macht munter. So that means the energy chocolate uh, that gives you strength and keeps you awake. That's basically what that what that say. Uh, the commercial version, as I have it here in the hand, is in red color, and we see also a bit uh, what all is in it. Uh, we see it there in English. Uh, kühl und trocken lagern has always keep it cool and dry and and you see three piece of the Schoka Cola have about as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. So it's a really really strong one and uh, what I find uh, pretty amusing uh, not recommended for children and pregnant women. Für Kinder und Schwangere nicht empfohlen. So uh, that that shows it all and bend that a bit over so we see there is the, the folding of the plastic where they where they put it together. So uh, that that uh, what it say here is a bit more about the the uh, how they farm the cacao, the original stuff that you make the chocolate out. So yeah, so two versions currently, two versions of the of the real chocolate, as best as I say. See, they uh, had a green one as well. The, the red is the dark one, the blue is the full milk, that means uh, with milk, and they had a green one with hazelnuts. 
I love hazelnuts and other nuts, peanuts, walnuts and all that and unfortunately that version is gone so I never had the chance to uh, to uh, try that one out. Uh, for now I for sure like the original version the best and what they also do is make a bit of studentenfutter that means uh, a mix for uh, students like a trail mix a trail mix of uh, nuts and uh, dried uh, stuff that they put a bit little little uh, segments of the shokar cola in it as well and uh, uh, that one I did not yet test out I could hardly sleep already after the plate show uh, with all that chocolate so <laughs> and here we see a little bit the round original box as soon as I get those I'm gonna make a, a video that was bad luck that it did not come over to USA but uh, next year hopefully we get that and uh, maybe we f even find a, a green one so red blue uh, it's tough to say I think the, the, the trail mix is all the same it's just the, the uh, chocolate part that, that is uh, divided again this is a uh, milk chocolate the yellow one is more exotic exotic so we see that is the, the dark the dark uh, chocolate pieces but with different more exotic for germany with i uh, see here ananas uh, dried uh, stuff so i'm gonna test out this this, uh, this summer a bit to see how that uh, is on the on the yellow one we see the the boxes the the cans a bit uh, better there the blue and the red one but uh, again as I get that I will make a video about that as well so in uh, USA unfortunately those are not sold I did contact with the manufacturing company in uh, Germany for a good while that already took two years to get that stuff here uh, together you can buy that inside USA but it's really really expensive and it's really not much around so that was the first I ever got a hold hold on and uh, the, the manufacturing company say they work on importing that to USA which I would really recommend because the uh, US market is so big if the people see what that is and they like it they're gonna buy that like crazy so that is a lot of money so that keeps coca cola alive and uh, they can maybe bring back the the green version with the with the hazelnuts uh, a little bit like like uh, lindor do it lindor is a a, a german uh, a swiss product that uh, is famous for their Lindor balls uh, a round thing you get that here at Walmart and uh, back then as I did check on those uh, that was a bit of a different situation they actually make uh, export version of the Lindor balls that are only available here here in the uh, USA and that you do not get in Switzerland so I guess that did uh, work pretty well with my emigration to uh, leave the, the Switzerland behind and uh, come to USA to get all the different uh, Lindor balls for uh, chocolate as I feel so if Coca Cola would do that too that would be really nice how does it look inside I have here uh, one already open that I work on quick take that out Uh, they got a bit battered up by the transport but uh, we see the imprint is the same and in the middle that is basically two pieces in the middle we see the, the part where it is easy to break 
uh, that's all what it is it's nothing uh, fancy and uh, it's gonna melt it's gonna melt in USA pretty pretty fast here in uh, North Georgia so it doesn't look anything special if it's not inside that round box in uh, those segments that we then see later on in a, in a different video those segments and uh, I could say it's pretty pretty hard chocolate I'm gonna gonna try to make a similar version of a chocolate a bit myself because we don't know where uh, now how it tastes and uh, what pretty much what all goes into that chocolate so we can mix that ourselves and uh, put it in in some uh, format shapes to let it uh, cool and then we have that too uh, for travel or for other occasions such a, a chocolate is really nice to keep you a bit with with the uh, energy I don't drink coffee so that would come in handy as a, in form of a of a chocolate and uh, for travel in in a uh, USA that is no problem to to uh, take with you as long as it won't melt so that much about the uh, chocolate from Germany from the 1930s how that did start how that did go on with the Olympics as a sport chocolate and then go to the to the military and uh, now now uh, to the to the students as well or campers or or hiker people to mix in the the, the chocolate with the dried fruits and and the uh, stuff 